welcome back to my channel and if you are just joining then hey and as you can see from the title of this video I have finally got round to doing my summer to autumn sort of winter transition with my wardrobe now this job I feel like it's been on my to-do list now for the longest time and the job that I just keep putting off because truthfully I've been so overwhelmed with the state of my wardrobe it was just horrendous that's kind of like the only word for it I feel like it just kind of got on top of itself and then I was just like shoving things in closing the doors and hoping it would go away obviously it didn't it just got worse and worse and now we're going into the new season I thought it's just the perfect time to finally have a clear out finally sort it all and get my life in order so as I was saying I felt really overwhelmed by it and I felt like I needed help so I actually really recommend this if you do kind of feel in the same position and you do kind of like maybe have a lot of clothes or space and you don't really know how to go about it so I had closet cleaner come in so it's a lovely jasmine, and it was just so nice to have a helping hand somewhat extra to help because it completely reduced the time of doing it and just sort of another perspective on it and sort of tips and tricks of how to organize and clear your wardrobe as well so I felt like I needed to do this video share it with you guys and hopefully it'll give you some inspo if you're kind of sat there wanting to organize your stuff but you just don't even know where to start so first of all what we did is because I have a built-in wardrobe space I have these drawers behind me where I fold my stuff and I also have a rail where I have my new in stuff we started basically with the big one and tackled the wardrobe and got everything out because I will show you before how it was. It was just an absolute state. And then I kind of went from there and put all the stuff on the rail sort of like bit by bit on this rail and sort of figured out, have I worn this in the past three months? Will I wear it? And I was just kind of a little bit brutal because I feel like I can be a little bit of a hoarder and I just felt swamped by all my stuff. I feel like I always kind of go to the same things anyway, like my staple pieces and just, you know, those pieces that you know you're instantly sort of gravitating towards your wardrobe. Whereas there's loads of pieces in my wardrobe that I just haven't worn, like shoes, bags, and I feel like they need another home. So I have donated a lot to charity. Some will be going to friends and then the rest I'll be selling over on my Depop. Now I haven't yet uploaded it all because honestly there's a lot of stuff that I actually got rid of with this clear out and a lot of the stuff even some have like tags in, really good condition. So I want them to go to new homes. So hopefully you guys can shop my wardrobe over there. Once it's all up, I'll obviously let you know over on my Instagram and I'll also leave my Depop details down below for the stuff that I will be selling. Okay, so this this is the state of my wardrobe before it is an absolute wreckage so I've got some like random summer tops up there swimwear that's literally piling over some like random mini midi dresses sorry and they're on different hangers which doesn't look cute and then here is just an absolute mess I can't even categorize it it's like some bottoms some tops some dresses so that's an absolute mess and then down here as well it's all messy and I've got this shoe rack but I haven't really been utilising it as you can see I've got some like random sandals on there but I haven't really been using it and then here is the shelves but as you can see it's an absolute mess I've just got like random stuff here some of my jeans folded jumpers that obviously aren't folded right some bags so like this just needs to all come out and redo it and then here is like the drawer section where I've got like my underwear and then back here is like perfumes and nail varnishes that have just been like shoved in. So I did actually get this from Primark to kind of organise the nail polishes with. And then up here is some boxes. So we can actually use these to like put things in and make it look a lot more better. And then random shoes, which half of these I never wear. So I feel like I need to kind of be ruthless with getting rid of what I want and what I don't want. And then some bags. And then this is the last part, the wardrobe section. This one isn't too bad. I've got my blazers here, some sort of like winter dresses and going out dresses and coats. So we're gonna completely transform this and you can see how we basically transition my wardrobe from like mainly kind of summer stuff that's in here now to a complete autumn winter wardrobe. <laughs>
this is the current <laughs> disaster and mess we are dealing with. We're just basically pulling everything out and then sorting it and organizing it into the cupboard. Okay, so these are all the shoes that I got rid of and I told you I was not joking. I had a lot of shoes. So a lot of these I still love, like these ones I got last year and I'm like umming and ahhing if to keep them. They are in such good nick, like they pretty much are brand new and these are so nice for kind of like new year events but I'm just thinking like if I don't wear them then I feel like they just need to go to a new home. So I've got loads of shoes in here like some nice summer big wedges Kurt Geiger ones so a lot of these I will be putting on my Depop so you'll be able to find them there once they're up so I've got all of them in there and then as for my summer clothes that I packed away I put them in these Ikea bags just because they store them so well and I can put these up in the archive upstairs so these are all kind of like my summer clothes that I've pulled out folded away and put in here and then as for all the clothes I'm selling I filled up so many of these bags and I've put them in storage so I will be putting them up on my Depop soon. This wardrobe is pretty much done it looks so much better so all the coats are neatly organized here in colors and then down here we have all my blazers perfectly kind of spaced out and done in um, colour coordination again and then at the bottom we've got my two little mules, my high boots and then in the other cupboard we've put my other boots just they're all kind of like neatly put back here because we've got a lot of space with the coats kind of hanging and then up here is my kind of winter dresses and evening dresses so I've got like my woolies, my black, uh, my leather ones um, sort of my day ones and then my nighttime ones they're just kind of like organizing category and also they're in color coordination which looks a whole lot more pleasing on the eye so this already looks like it's come together so well and then we've just kind of used the space here at the back I've got one of my old Gucci boxes and put in there sorry it's not focusing all of my summer sandals so I've just kind of stored them away at the back here and then obviously everything at the front is accessible and what I can use straight away and then with this wardrobe little space here as you can see it's quite limiting in the fact it is small sort of this way where it goes really far back so we decided to use this to sort of organize my heels and the rest of my boots and some of my trainers in here so Jasleen came up with the idea to kind of organize them in this way so I can see them easier and also use sort of the depth of it as well so I can basically layer back with my boots. So we've got my boots here and we've got them going back so I can easily see them and access them. And then here we've got some of my heels and I actually got rid of so many shoes because I felt like I don't wear all my shoes. So yeah, I feel like it was good to just kind of get rid and keep the ones that I know I always gravitate towards. And then up here I've got my tote bags and then behind them I've got the bags that I kind of don't reach to all the time but I still wanted to keep. So I feel like this just looks a whole lot better than it was. It is again like a really weird kind of section of the wardrobe to organise so we felt like this kind of worked the best for this space. And then in the middle section I organised this little beauty bit so back here I just have a box with all kind of leftover polishes and like nail polish remover and stuff like that. This is a big box of all my perfumes that I don't normally go to and sort of like little gift sets that I've been given. So I've kept them all in there neatly. Um, this, like I said before, is from Primark. It's so good, this little nail polish stand. So I'm gonna get a second one of this and put it here so it will run across. And then this is my NARS little stand. So this was actually in a big lipstick which was taking up so much space. So we took the top of it and just left it like this. Still need to find this one because I feel like it's really bugging me. But there's actually a plug socket back there, which I'm thinking of maybe putting a little beauty fridge and then having everything in there, like, you know, like my creams and stuff and keep them really cool or like eye masks, face masks, because I feel like this could be utilised a lot more. We also had the idea of maybe putting a shelf in here so that we can use more of the space. And then up here, we've put in these little boxes, we folded my scarves and like my hats and my gloves and stuff like that. So it's all neatly tucked away up there for when I need it in the winter. And then in these drawers are just basically like my underwear, my bras, just kind of neatly tucked away and socks, just things that I use on the daily basis. This one is probably one of my favourite because as you can see, the transformation of what it was to what it is now 
is just a whole lot better. So we've got my bodies here nicely folded. We've got sort of my band tees and sort of like my comfy tees, like my Brandy Melville ones that I always wear in my joggers back there. And then we have my bottoms. So these are sort of shorts here at the front. And then back there is my skirts folded, just so I can see them and get to them easier because we felt like they didn't really need to be hung. And then I kind of have a lot of jumpers just because I love my comfy wear. So back there is kind of like my gray black ones. And then at the front are all kind of my white ones. So this just looks so much more organized and just taking it all out, kind of getting rid of what I don't wear and then folding it can make a world of difference. And then lastly, this section of the wardrobe is where I feel like it's had kind of the biggest transformation and just looks so much better. I mean, how much better does this look than it was? So I invested in these hangers. She actually advised me to get them because I'm not sure if you've seen the rest of my wardrobe. They're actually on wooden hangers. So I brought these off Amazon. They are the velvet black ones. And I just think the wardrobe looks so much better when they're all on the same hanger. And also these take up less space compared to the wooden ones. So I still need to buy some more for the other section and change them over. But I spent like like an hour changing all of these the other day and I feel like it just is worth it. It looks so much better when they're all kind of hung the same way and kind of in colour coordination and also styles. So here I have my leather trousers, then I have sort of like my pattern ones, my white trousers, some of my leather leggings and trousers here. I've got my white jeans, my denim jeans, and then my black jean. So these are all kind of organized, and I feel like this just, honestly, I forgot what I even had, and now I've kind of had a clear out and just kept all the pieces that I know I'll wear. I feel like this just has made a world of difference. I feel like I keep saying that, but honestly, it's made me so happy just seeing it all neatly put away. And then here we organize my cardigans, so like the longer pieces in my wardrobe, and my midi dresses. So I've got sort of like my woolly cardigans here, um, my jumpsuits, these are like my denim jumpsuits, and then my midi dresses, and my strappy midi dresses, and then these two pieces here are just some midi skirts, but I'm going to get these on these hangers too, so as you can see I've changed these to the black velvet ones and you can actually get clippies for these, so Jasleen has sent me the link on Amazon, I'll also link them down below, so I'm going to buy the clippies so it'll all be the same. And then up here I've also done the same, so we've kind of got some of my winter jumpers out, as you can see these are a little bit thinner and like my um, cropped cardigans, kind of going into autumn I feel like I don't really need the big thick chunky ones. So we've kind of organized them into categories and color. And then along here, I have my white shirts, and my blouses, and then some of my colored ones that I kind of want to keep going into autumn as well. And then we put all of my swimwear in this tub up there, as you can see. It is actually neatly organized. I'm not sure why that's flapping over right now. So all my swimwear is up in this box. So these boxes are also from Ikea. And they are so perfect for putting in your wardrobe, just to kind of put away things like swimwear, hats, gloves. Also got this from Amazon. It's like a little stool step, which you can obviously just fold out and fold away. There you go, just so I can easily like fold it in my wardrobe, take it out as I'm on the small side, just so I can sort of step up and reach to these top sections in my wardrobe. So like I said, Jasleen advised me to get these hangers, a little step, just little things like that are just kind of what you need in your wardrobe to help access things and just make it a whole lot easier. And then my drawers I feel like were pretty much organised anyway. I'd done them quite recently during the lockdown. So this is all my hair stuff in the top one and I have these sectioned off with these little dividers. These are actually from Ikea as well so they're really handy to get. And then in here I have all of my gym wear. I feel like it kind of needs a little bit refolding, but I've done it in the folded way so it looks a whole lot easier and you can see everything. And then down here is my pajamas. And on the other side, I have my beauty bits in the top drawer. So these are all kind of my makeup products that I have. Um, these are actually organized, it doesn't look organized. So I've got like my lip balms, my lip glosses, these are sort of like my eyeshadow sticks. Back here is eyelashes. These are kind of like random bits like beauty blenders and some brushes that I have. My NARS little pack and then in here is 
kind of like my leftover powders and foundations highlighters and then back there is the same so it is a little bit organized i feel like it's kind of method in the madness with that drawer here i got rid of so many joggers i just hoarded so much so these are my joggers and then i've just got my little shorts so i've got a lot of space here free and then these are my matching loungewear sets so i feel like the folding isn't great right now, but it will look better when I redo it, but at least it's all organised away. And then on the top here, I have my Jo Malone perfumes, so I always have these on display just because I think they look pretty, and these are pretty much the perfumes that I always kind of go to in the day. I always kind of mix the scents up. I love these ones. I have my neon candle currently going. I just love this one. It's the happiness scent. And you just feel like it just gives like a calming feel to the room. And as for my jewellery, I store it in this little box. It's actually from Zara Home. And it is just so handy because obviously you can see through the glass so you can see everything. So I have all my kind of like studs and hoops and cuffs all here. These are my big like hoop earrings. These are kind of like my fashion um, drop down ones. I've got like watch and random little bits in here and then my rings. And then there's also this pull out drawer. It's always a little bit stiff where I have some other bits in here too. And so lastly is this rail. So I always have this rail here with all my new in bits. And these are kind of the pieces that I always go to during like the current week. So I always have this out. I find it so much easier to kind of visually style outfits, have them in the colour coordination as well. So we sorted this out and brought out all sort of my new in autumn transitional pieces like I've got a lot of shirts here sort of like autumn dresses that I can wear with boots and then here is my midi dresses recently got this one from H&M you guys will be seeing my H&M haul very soon so make sure you hit subscribe for that because I've got loads of nice new pieces as you can see and then my blazers here so that's all organized on there and then i also use these shelves for my bags that i always go to so i always wear this ysl one this is my kurt geiger these just match with all my outfits currently this is Pauline paris a lot of you asked me about this on instagram it's such a gorgeous bag so i thought it looks really nice here on the shelf as well and i have my new chanel trainers absolutely love these so i thought they deserved their own shelf on here and then these also are the bags that I always go to. I've got my Chloe one and these kind of like 90s style ones at the minute that I love and then the Kurt Geiger one back there. So I kind of use these shelves as like shoes and bags that I always go to and style with my outfits. And then down here on the bottom shelf I have my chunky boots. These are Topshop last year but I've seen they've actually got them restocked so I will link them down below if so. And these sandals are just the perfect kind of transition shoe especially as it's quite warm right now and I don't really want to wear anything and too hot on my feet these are both from june and they did sell out but they've actually restocked so these are kind of the dupe of the chanel ones that everyone's going crazy for at the minute and then these are the listen sandals which again are on trend and super comfy i love them i've been wearing these a lot and lastly i just have my hats kind of on little hooks here just so I can easily get to them. And it also kind of just goes with the colour palette of everything going on here. So yeah, this is all my new in bits. And if you do have sort of a spare rail, definitely recommend kind of laying everything out like this because I just feel like it's so much easier to put outfits together and also visualise. Also invested in is this little steamer. Again, this is from Amazon. There's so many different options you can get. I went for the cheaper one and I feel like I should have maybe spent a little bit more and got an expensive one. It is okay, but I feel like obviously the more expensive will do a better job but I did go through and just steam so much in my wardrobe I'll turn it on so you can see so just things like this like shirts because I suck at ironing you can just go with this steamer get all the creases out and it's just so much quicker to do when you're like in a rush or on the go and kind of getting the whole ironing board out so I've gone through and steamed most of the stuff in my wardrobe as well so it is ready to wear so I just honestly now feel like I have my life together. Just having everything neatly put away, organized, and I can visually see it and access it is just a whole lot easier. And also like the little kind of tips that I give you with making sure that you kind of have your hangers all on the same one. These are the ones I got from Amazon, the black velvet ones. Also having the little stool that you can fold away in your wardrobe so you can easily access things like on the top shelf that you might just kind of shove up there. 
and then also the steamer that I got and I also do have a debubbler which is really good for you like your autumn winter jumpers to get all kind of them bubbles off so I'll link that down below I'm not sure where it is I feel like I need to find it but that is also a really good kind of thing to have in your wardrobe to kind of keep on top of all your clothes and make sure they're all neat and fresh so I hope you guys did enjoy this video if you did please give it a like and hopefully it's inspired you to go and do your wardrobe or if you have already please let me know your tips down in the comments below but till next time guys I will see you then